Good morning. It's Thursday, and guess where I'm not going today? Guess where we're not going today? Not doing it. We're not going to work. Well, I don't work on Thursday anyway. Yeah. Well, uh, she's not going to work. I'm not going to work today or tomorrow or Monday. It's officially our vacation. Um, the doctor I work for decided him and his wife were going to take a cruise, so when the doctor's out, we're out. And then Shane is on an 11 day vacation. So we're on our way to Hot Springs. So for, we'll, long, for a long weekend. For a long weekend. We're gonna get there this afternoon or tonight. Well, this afternoon. It's 8.45 in the morning. Um, but you know, you know, we have to stop and pick the whole way there. And we have to stop and pick the whole way back. So, um, so we're doing, we got our, our coffee. We woke up at what, 6 o'clock, 6.30? 6 o'clock. We got up at 6. Last night we decided to go to bed early. I always go to bed early, but, um, so we could get up early and get on the road. And then, what was I going to say? Oh, we'll get there this afternoon, and then, um, Shane got us a VRBO. On the golf course. I mean, kind of like staying at our own house. It's, a, it's in Hot Springs Village. Hot Springs Village. Which, if you ever get a chance, Hot Springs is a cool little trip. And the village is cool. There's like seven golf courses in the village. And there's, I don't know, five, six, seven, like, small lakes. It's a retirement. It's like a master plan retirement community. But it's really pretty. It's really cool. The golf courses are great. I'm not playing golf this go around. I started to bring my golf clubs. I started to bring my golf clubs and play around it's golf. Um, but if you ever get an opportunity, it's relatively inexpensive. Um, you can get houses. You can, the name, so Village Villas. VillageVillas.com. A little shout out to them. But I've stayed there probably five or six times in my life. Um, but you can rent everything from just little small houses to big 5,000 square foot with decks overlooking the lake. There's, ha there's houses with docks. There's houses on the golf course. So anything you like to do, it's kind of there. It's, it's probably 15 minutes outside of Hot Springs. So you're close enough to Hot Springs, but you're also, it's kind of like a little retreat. So I don't want to dominate this, but just FYI. And you'll see it when we get there. And we just um, got a VRBO, a little house, and it's old school, like you're going to your grandma's house. Like, I think it's got flower pattern couch, it's got a lazy boy, the old brown dining room table. Uh, so it'll be fun. We're not going to stay in a, a big bougie, a the big and modern hotel. Yeah, um, we're staying at, at a grandma's VRBO, and I'm so excited I can't hardly stand it. I love the homey feel, you know, when you travel. And I've always wanted to stay at a bed and breakfast, but Shane's not down for that. Now, when we did do the Stone Lion murder mystery, that was very bed and breakfast. That was a bed and it breakfast. It is a bed and breakfast, yeah. And I've only had one experience with a bed and breakfast. Shane doesn't like it because there's one kitchen, one dining room. You got to run into your neighbors. And me, I like that. I would. I would like to stay at a bed and breakfast and get to know the person in the, you know, down the hall and meet them at breakfast and how you doing? Good morning. But you know, I'm social bug. Shane's not about that life. Introvert. He's an introvert. Mostly. Completely, Unless... completely extroverted. You're like mom. Very extroverted around his own people most of the time. But out in public, he's, unless you meet somebody and you start talking vinyl. Or I have a couple of cocktails. Or, or there's drinks and bottles. <laughs> or I have a couple of cocktails. And He's friends with everybody. everybody. Anyway, so I'll show you our little grandma house when we get there. And uh, anyway, I've been talking for five minutes. And so we're going to drink our coffee. And I want to turn you around so you can see how green everything's turning. I'm so excited. Look, everything's turning green. <laughs> Sky is gorgeous. I texted all the kids, told them we were getting on the road. I 
guess he's blowing my phone up the most. Riley? Jonathan. No, you told me not to text Riley because you're a uh, kid. No. Jonathan likes to talk to me. He's a texter. Anyway, okay. I'm going to drink our coffee. I'm going to drink my electrolytes. And uh, we will uh, get back to you when we find something interesting. Okay, we made it. We are staying at the Village Villas, and we're in a cul-de-sac, and these are the little, the little duplex villas. We VRBO'd one. Where'd the keys go? I don't know. I think they might be on the kitchen counter. Here's the front door. Uh, right here. Hey, did you see I opened the casement? Yes. Here's the kitchen. I know you like your casement. So anyway, here's the... Sorry. Front door, it's fine. Little kitchen. Uh, just learned that uh, the village villas, it, what? The keys to the truck. Oh, I don't know where the keys to the truck are. It should be unlocked. Okay, let's try it again. We were trying to find keys. Okay, here's the kitchen. Anyway, the whole uh, Village Villas is a a golf course with, it's a retirement community golf course. Um, Shane just told me that. Here's one bedroom. Cute, cozy. And I am loving these little, these little pictures. Aren't those cute? They're like uh, um, sewn. What's it called? My mom made one of these one time. Isn't that cute? I love those. There's another one above the bed. Go down the hall. Washer and dryer in there. Bathroom. This was cracking me up because here's a bathroom. And then through that door is another toilet. So there's two toilets side by side. <laughs> Living room. Cozy. Complete with a lazy boy, and we both tried it out. We decided we're going to get a pair of lazy boys at some point. And we really like this picture right here. It's one of the first thing I noticed. Shane did too. We we're like, ooh, I like that picture. Here's the master. This is where we stay. And the rest of the bathroom. Oh, there's a closet. Shane already hung up his clothes. He, he always hangs up his clothes. I'll just leave mine in the suitcase. There's the other toilet. Isn't that funny? Obviously, it's his and hers already. He left the seat up. I didn't. His and hers. We should do our haul. We should do our, all our stuff. Okay. And then let me take you guys outside, and then we're going to do a quick haul. Because, you know, we picked and goodwilled on our way up here. You guys, look at this. Here's the deck. Ah, isn't that pretty? It's a little, a little drizzly and overcast today. The moss on the ground. We were standing out here earlier listening to a woodpecker. This is where we're staying. And then those sliding glass doors are on the bedroom. Okay. We're going to do a haul. This is a production. We can't find anywhere to set the to, phone. Yeah, trying to find a good don't have set. A, I don't have my tripod. A good set to make this work as it should. So we're outside. We're okay. outside now. First thing I found. Nature. Actually, the first thing I found was some lavender hand sanitizer, but that's in the truck. And it, and smell, and it smells good, by the way. I, yeah. It smells good. Yeah. Lavender I'm weird with, but it smells good. Look what I found at the Goodwill. First of all, we're driving down the road, and I'm like, there's a Goodwill. So we did that. Made a beeline. Look what I found. It's cool. I haven't tried it on yet. Are you ready? The color is to die for. And it's like velvet. 
it's to die for. It's good. I can't even. I'm more excited about it now than I was when I found it. Well, the material, like the color is awesome, but the material is awesome too. Shut the front door. I gotta try it on. Six ninety nine at Goodwill. Six ninety nine. It's it's awesome. It's good. Will you hold my t-shirt down so I, give, I don't strip? I give you solid style points for that. Well, that's just, isn't that cute? God, it's so like, cute. Like, I give you real solid style points. Okay, so I haven't tried it on. It's bad. It's it's cool. Look at that. It's very, um, I don't know. Please a rock, fit. A rock, oh, a rock star could wear it. Yes. It's kind of retro-y. It's bad. You're going to wear it tomorrow night is what you're going to do. Yes, I'm going to wear it tomorrow night when we go to that Arlington. bad. Oh, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it fits good. Look at that. I didn't think I was going to be able to button it. I probably won't button it, but oh my gosh, isn't that cute? Look at the color. Can you feel it? You want to feel it? And look at the little detail on the it's, sleeves. It's velvet. It's not velvet. No, it's, it's velvet. It more feels like a, it's, it feels like a, something between a suede and a velvet. Oh my gosh. It's, We're going to have that. It's a cool piece. Woo! It's a cool piece. So I used to shop in that, like I would see things that I really liked, but I was like, what am I going to wear that with? I don't know how to put that outfit together. And then I kind of just got rid of that mentality and said, if you like it, especially from Goodwill for seven bucks, for seven bucks, if you like it, buy it and figure out how you'll wear it later. I wish it was a little bit smaller. Yeah. It, but I it wish fits, it was a little bit smaller. But it fits you well. It could be a hair smaller. But it still fits you really well. Oh my god, it's so cute. Ooh, the color is everything. The material, the color with the with the material. It's a medium. So yeah, it is a medium, but it's who cares? It's awesome. Ninety-seven percent cotton, three percent spandex, but feels like velvet. It's velvety. Oh, it has a little slit at the back. Yes. God, that's so freaking cute. Ooh, so cute. Then she got that. That's that's. That's the winner. That's the belly that's, ball. That's the winner, winner chicken dinner. And Shane's not a fan of this, but it'll be cute for work. I think it's adorable. And I thought with some blue jeans and um, my wedges this spring, cute little, cute it's, little blouse. Oh, there's the front. It's fine. It just doesn't oh, it's adorable. grab me like that other piece does. Well, it's more of a work thing. Yeah. Or a blue jean, but with my. It's cute. My Jessica Simpson jeans, and then some wedges. Yes, I'm going to have that. And even though there's no green in this, I was like, these would look so cute together. So that's what I found. And then I found... <clears throat> what are you doing? I was looking. I had. I took a drink and I had this weird yeah. crease on my face. It's called age. <laughs> it's like, what is that? Age. age. What is that? Yeah, I was going to say a... something really tacky just now, but I didn't. I'm, I'm what were you going to say? Not about you. Not about you. Um, I found a book. It's called Type and Cross. And um, it's about um, a doctor. He's a chief of emergency medicine at a hospital. And um, his life comes to a screeching halt when he learns that everything he believed was wrong. And then his story crosses with another girl named Vanessa. Um and there's a truth that she's going to have to reveal that she doesn't want to reveal. And it's a tale of family dysfunction, betrayal, heroism, and loss. A story of one family's journey from devastation to redemption. So there's a happy ending. And, that, and I'm excited. And it's a short book. It's short. It's a short read. That thing's like freaking I it's hope like reading it's, the Bible. I hope it's so good. The book that I'm reading right now um, by David Goggins is like I'm devouring it. It's incredible. There's 30 some odd chapters. It is 483 pages long. Yeah. It'll be great. I got a lot of books. You can never have too many books, just like you can't have too many, too much vinyl. Okay, and then um, there was a little in cap booth that had wax melts and candles, and they're homemade. That was a bit drizzly. It is, it's raining just a hair. So I smelled a candle and I was like, oh my gosh, baby Jesus, I need that. What are you doing, baby? <laughs> <laughs> what is your problem? You know what I'm doing is... Feeling your age? Yes. I just had that moment a minute ago. 
I was in the bathroom. Now I have freckles, in case you never noticed. I've had freckles. Everybody knows you're a ginger. I've had freckles my entire life. Doesn't bother me. I've had them. I've lived with them. Whatever. But within the last like year or so, all of a sudden I'm getting age spots. And what I'm seeing is that age spots are different than freckles. It's a different hue. It's a different color. So I'm, I see all these things. I was actually on the bathroom doing the, taking a toilet. And I'm like, what is that? What are those spots? And that's how it happened. Like, I don't know if you can differentiate, differ, differentiate between what's it. I don't know what that is. It's not an age spot or a freckle. It's just red marks. But anyway, I was looking at it. That's what I was doing. Cracks in his face and spots on his face. Cracks hands. in my face and spots on my hands. And oh, well. Sometimes it just it doesn't. Mm. So I found some, Sorry. in a nutshell, in I found nutshell. some wax melts. Wax. And you know what? Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So I, I took a lid off a candle because she had wax melts and candles and lip balms and all that cool fun stuff. And I smelled one and I said, oh my God, baby Jesus, what is that? And it was a candle and it was called Granny's Pie Crust. I about fell out. It smelled so good. And I wasn't going to pay $20 for a candle or 15 or whatever it was, but they had Granny's Pie Crust in a wax melt. One big fat wax melt, which is equivalent to two or three if you got, I mean, you, you know, the so block. close it doesn't have a chance to focus. Let me smell. It smells good. Oh, it smells like it belongs in this retirement good. community. It smells so good. It's a retirement People community. People are walking out their front door right now. What's that? It smells what like, is that? It smells like a pie aroma crust. Oh. I'm so familiar with. And then this one's called Cowboy Sweetheart. And it smells more like a perfume. Shane thinks it smells like a baby's diaper. Like a clean, new, brand new, fresh baby's diaper. Let me diaper. tell you something. I'm like, I never if bought If you those ever diapers. bought babies' diapers that have like a smell to them and you pull them out and there's that smell, not used babies' diapers, brand new, it smells just like this. I, I think it's baby diaper getting ready to go in the diaper genie. That's what this smells like. If it's getting ready to go in the diaper it's genie, bad. it's been used. Okay, cancel that. <laughs> before, before, it smells just like a dang diaper. It smells, it smells incredible. Like I think it smells like perfume. It's, it's I did Cowboy's Pampers. Girlfriend. I bought Pampers. I couldn't afford it. And I was so glad whenever I was able to stop buying wipes and Pampers. Oh, when you get past the doctors, like I was like, I just got a raise. When you yes, when you get done with, if you can't breastfeed, I couldn't breastfeed, and I know Jody couldn't breastfeed. She and I had a similar problem where we couldn't breastfeed. But um, when you get past formula and you get past diapers and pull ups, and then you're completely potty trained, you did. You've got a raise. Diaper, di I, I used to cringe going to Walmart to buy diapers and wipes. And then, it's yes. It's 50 dollars. And then the next level, Here's 50. if your kids are in daycare, which our children were, because, you 700 know, a month. We Thank didn't, you. I didn't get to be a stay-at-home mom when my kids were little. There's another raise. Damn right. But then they start driving, and then you got to figure out how to get them a car, and so you, you lose your raise again. But anyway. Then they go to college. They, and, well, one of them goes to college. One of them goes to college. <laughs> Anyway, the Go next on. one is orange pound cake. I wish y'all could smell it. This is my least favorite, but it still smells good. Because you know I'm about the citrus. But, but, you gotta help. You gotta let me smell you. Uh, well, I didn't, wasn't sure. That's you... okay, but it, it's not citrusy. It's citrusy with a sweet, sweet twist. Like a dessert cupcakey twist. And then this one is truly patchouli. Because I love me a good patchouli. Shane doesn't like this. That's a clean, good... That smells like Eureka Springs. That smells like... That is... That all is, of Eureka Springs smells like patchouli. That is a... What this is, is a... Modif it's like a modified patchouli. It's not as overpowering. It's a great one. Because it actually smells... I smell the patchouli now. Not all patchouli is equal. It's the same with not lavender. Not all patchouli is equal. Same, well, with any, any scent. Anyway, that's all I got. Great, great stuff. She got great stuff. The, what color is that? Lime green? What, I don't know. It's moss. It's the moss. It's the same color as the grass. It's the same color as the moss grass here. Your turn. It, it is. It's the same color as the moss it's grass. It's the same color as the grass right now. That thing's awesome. So, 
So, what is that? Sorry, I'm going to interrupt. Do you see that bush? That's a, a berry bush. What's that animal over there? Is that an animal? It's not an animal. No, it's mind. the rim around the garden. Yeah. Do you see that? The pointy bush? What is that called? Holly. Holly bush. I haven't seen a holly bush in forever. It's a holly. Listen to birds. I think it's your turn. So, I'm going to grab my Gatorade. Carry on. So we, you know, we've got the booth and we're selling records in the booth and we had a really good month last month. And so on the way down, I told Amy, I'm like, I'm going to try to buy a lot of records on this trip to restock the booth with. Um, and man, just oddly enough, we found some really, not, I mean, not, not just, oh my gosh, but I was really surprised at what I found today. Um, so I'm just going to go through it. I think I bought about 20 albums. I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with cassettes. Um, just because it's kind of crazy. I, I like cassettes just because I was a child of the eighties and they're just part of, part of my DNA to have cassettes and, and just the whole click and the, I don't know. It's just a thing. I've got a bunch of cassettes, but Here's, the, I will not spend a lot of money for cassettes. I'm very cheap when it comes to them. So all of these today I bought for 50 cents. And I got some good ones. Um, the first one is Howard Jones. You guys probably remember that. Um, the, what's the track? Thing, things will only get better. Howard Jones, things will only get better. Uh, that right, right. That's uh, thing. There's another song on here that I'm not gonna really look at right now. I remember that song. Second one, Ten Thousand Maniacs, Hope Chest. Never really listened to this when I was young, but it's Ten Thousand Maniacs, so it's just fun to have. Um, third one, you guys probably know I'm a Robert Plant guy. Robert Plant pictures at 11 which again paid 50 cents for all of these and i just buy them for the what what do i buy them for nostalgia nostalgia i don't listen to them uh, but i no, buy them we gotta listen to them every now and then in johnny lee's i've i've got a cassette player i don't really use it um are you gonna sell these i'll probably sell a few of them some of them i'll keep so just they're for storage <laughs> They're for st I buy them for storage. Um, the next one, hey, Jay Giles Band, Freeze Frame. Are these up for sale? Freeze Frame, Centerfold. I don't need to say anymore. We'll be playing that. I don't need to say anymore. Don't need to say Freeze anymore. Frame, Centerfold. Click. Next one. Next one needs no introduction. I can probably just show you the cover. It's little, one of my favorite albums of all little time. little band from England called Duran Duran Rio. Let me see that. 50, 50 cents. 50 cents. One of Come my on. favorite albums of all time. <clears throat> this is my favorite one? Yes. Yeah, it's Rio. Um, nope. The Alarm. What's the other one? Nope, this isn't it. The, the Alarm? Other. No, that's it. It's Duran Duran Rio, trust me. Um, and then lastly, one, two, three, four... Five, six. The fans of this band are rabid. They are rabid. I found six Rush cassettes all at the same place. 50 cents a piece. Bam. Come on. Come on. Here, I'll show you again. Right there. Did you see them? Did you see them? Did you see those? All right. So that's the cassette. <laughs> Next is the album haul. Um, now the cassettes, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I love them. I cherish them. Like don't, my books. Don't point at them. Don't. You can, you can buy a cassette or you can buy a book, and you can just leave it on the shelf for the next 20 years, but you will come back to it. You'll come back to it. You can read it now and read it later. That's you can right. listen now or listen later. And that's... That's Americana. That's part of that's part of who we are. That's our DNA. Right. I picked up a couple T-shirts. They trial, they yeah. were a buck a piece. I thought this one was cool. I haven't Smith, seen these. Uh, Smith Smith Works vodka. Just a cool T-shirt. You're lucky it's a large. That's cool, isn't it? He's it's lucky a large. It's, it's a just, large. It's just a cool <laughs> T-shirt. Um, Smith Works vodka. Do with that? I don't know. I don't know. But it was a dollar. I'm like, I'm buying it. 
The second one. I love that. The Mellow Mushroom I don't even care about since 74. Now, for those of you that don't know, the Mellow Mushroom is a pizza joint. Um, ah. And I think they're based, I know that they have them in Atlanta. I think they're kind of in the, in the southeast. Um, we went to the Mellow Mushroom when we went to Atlanta. You and I did. Anyway, I saw the mellow mushroom. Is that when we were waiting on Kelly and Michelle? Yes, I yes, remember it. yes. Totally remember. Um, and I've seen. I've. I've we have a picture. The, the fell. The Fanny. Um, the DA in Atlanta that's trying Trump. Mm -hmm. Her and her like oh, I was watching the I was watching the the courtroom drama and she was like, well, we went to the mellow mushroom once. And I was like, yeah, I know the Mellow Mushroom. Was that that great big place that had a dance floor? No, 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 no. It was like small and it had the mushroom on the front. Just a little pizza place. Okay, was, I don't remember that. And we were talking about Alex when we were there. The Mel Anyway, Mellow Mushroom since also, 74. I was like, I'm buying that for a buck. If you're lucky, that's all, also lucky. Lucky, it's a large. also it's a large. And I can't wear it because I wear XL. So anyway, if somebody, somebody wants to speak for these, I'll make you a good deal on them. They're fun. They're just fun. Yeah. They're fun. And cute with a cardigan and blue jeans. You know what? Shorts. Right. Exactly. Whatever. Is this like cotton? Yes. No, it's it's not from seventy four. It just says seventy four. It just says okay. it says since seventy four. Since, okay. Yes, yeah, since nineteen seventy four. I'm slow. Um, oh, and I also bought this was a dollar was it a dollar? I think this was a dollar. Blue Note Jazz. Blue Note. Everybody knows what Blue Note is. They put out a lot of, they, they do a lot of um, like modern, or not modern, but uh, a lot of like mid-century jazz, like uh, Miles Davis and Thelonious Monk, Thelonious Monk, um, some uh, Charlie Parker, stuff like that. So anyway, this was a buck. It's two CDs, and but there's, a, it, or it's a, it looks like a double, but there's actually one, two, Three CDs in there. So, kind of Where's was, the fourth one? There's not a fourth one. See, it says three, oh. three compact disc set. So there's no fourth one. Do you see what I have to deal with? She has to deal with this on a daily basis. Anyway. It says three, see? <laughs> that means there's not four. Dumbass. I didn't, I didn't say that. You have to say it. I didn't say that. You don't have and to that, say nor, it. nor do I look at it that way. Next. Got with oh, it. look at my new little with a corn watch band. I know. I know. I showed it to you guys, but uh, it's the one I got off Timu that I wasn't real sure of. I freaking love it. I noticed it, like it this morning, and I meant to compliment you on it. Oh, did you? Thanks, baby. And tell you I liked it because I, I did. It. I did notice it this morning. It's so colorful and cute. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go through these albums. We're at 18 minutes. You're gonna have to do a video for today and then tomorrow. No. Yeah, because otherwise you're gonna have an hour long video. So? Okay, maybe. I would do I would just go ahead and upload it, but hey, that's me. Um first, me that doesn't do anything with his channel. First album. You have a channel. Stray Cats. Yes. Rant and Rave. Five dollars. Paid five dollars for this. We've been I see this look. I see this look. And we've been down this road before, haven't we? What are you talking about? Been down this we've road. We've been down this road what before. Road? The road of what is purchased to go in the booth oh. ends up not making it to the booth for one reason or another. Me and me and Becky love the Stray Cats. I had that album, and I actually sold it when I had my other booth. This is a really clean cop. Five dollars, five bucks for. Like I said, 10 or 12 bucks. Is I don't know any of these songs. Yeah, you do. You know Sexy and 17? Mm -mm. Yeah, you do. She's sexy and 17. My little rock and roll queen. That's a little bit obscene. I just like Stray Cats. I don't know a lot about them, but I like them. Anyway, that's a great cover. Right there. Sexy and 17. Yeah, no, I saw it. I just don't remember. You'd know it. Anyway, it's a cool cover. Rant and rave. Maybe it makes it to the booth. Maybe it doesn't. They could go to the booth. The next one, four dollars and twenty-five cents. The best of Elvis Costello. Wow. Um, of course, Allison, 
What's so funny about peace, love, and understanding? Baby, I'm believing. Watch your steps. You're feeling. I want to be loved. Every every day I write the book. Great condition. Elvis Costello. A, another ten, twelve dollar album in the booth. So another great buy. We're in a retirement community. I don't care about the quit, retirees. You have to quit yelling. That's rude. Three ninety five. <laughs> That's so rude. Three night. This is a rude price. Three ninety five for breathe. Oh. That's rude. That's rude because this is a ten dollar album. So raise your, your hands, hands to heaven, heaven and pray and pray that we'll be back together someday. Hey, good one. Uh, there's another one on here. We'll be here all day. Don't week. wait. How can I fall? Oh. How can I fall when you just won't give, give me reason? That's it. Just won't right. give me now this one's in the shrink and it's got the hype sticker. So guess what little Papa's going to do? He's going to take this one and put it in his collection. And I'm going to take, I do have a copy of this already. I'll take my copy and put it in the booth. But Papa Bear's going to keep this one. Next one, one dollar, kids, one, one dollar. Till Tuesday. Till Tuesday. I always thought she was so cute. Voices carry. Isn't she so cute? Voices carry. Terry Nunn, is that her name, Terry Nunn? I don't know, but I, mean, I feel like I'm channeling her with the short hair. I think hair. it's Terry Nunn. So if I have short white hair. It's going to bother me. It's not Terry Nunn. Amy Mann. Great Amy, name. Amy Mann. Great name. And she's still, by Amy the way, Mann, Amy by the way, she wrote that song. She's still out touring around. Amy Mann is. Um, Terry Nunn is Berlin, I think. Anyway, I got that for a buck. Another one, eight to ten dollars. Condition on that isn't as good as what it is on these. Mm -hmm. It's still an eight to ten dollar mm -hmm. album. She's so cute. Um, <clears throat> next one is a double album. Chess. Never heard of it. It was two dollars, but I'm looking on it now. I think I've told you guys before. I'll look at things if I don't recognize something, but it piques my interest. I'll look at like who's in the band. I'll look at uh, the producer. I'll look at the label, things like that. So I noticed um, this is performed by Murray Head. So Murray Head is in this band. Murray Head, if you remember the song, One Night one night in the Bangkok Makes a Hard Man Humble. That was Murray Head. Um, so I bought this album on the strength of the cover and the fact that Murray Head's in the band. Two bucks. Well, we need to move it along. It's two dollars. I know, I know. We need to move it along. I love you, Cliff's Notes. Ian Gillian. Um, Ian Gillian, Roger Glover. Uh, another two dollar album, <laughs> Cliff's Notes. Somebody's gonna have to help me out because I don't remember the band that Ian Gillian is, was in. Yes, was it Yes? Maybe I don't know, but I bought it because of that. Um, and it's a it was a promo. It stamped a promo. I'll put this in. It was two bucks. I'll throw this in the booth for maybe four dollars, um, and, and it's still gonna be a cheap album for somebody. Um, the next one, same thing, kind of like I was talking about. I don't know who this is. Never heard of him before, but. That but sounds huge. It's on Sire. It's on the label Sire. And back in the early 80s, and this was 1980, Sire was a fairly new label, and they signed Talking Heads. They signed Blondie. Um, who else? Was, Madonna was on Sire. And so anytime I find something on, on a Sire label around this time area, I'll buy it. If it's cheap, $2, I'll buy it. Um, and I, I will... I will bet money this is pretty solid, um, or at least I'll like it. So anyway, that'll probably go in my collection. I probably won't sell that. Um, Blackfoot, two dollars. Bought this on the strength of the cover. Don't know what it is. He looked kind of cool on the back, sitting at the sitting at the table. What's going on over there? I don't know. Big dogs. Freaking dog fights. But. Sometimes you just go, eh, I'm gonna cool go cover. with I'm gonna go with it. Two well, bucks. I can't wait to get back home and listen to that. Two bucks, we're gonna go with it. Looks like somebody's put a candle on it and played like 
burn a candle on it at one point. Can't be too bad. This one's kind of cool. Um, Two dollars. Castle Donington. Castle Donington. Um, There's saxophone in here. So this is a. You can see all the people. This is a festival, and it's kind of a heavy metal festival. Um, Metallica has played it a few times. Um, this is kind of cool. So on this one is Rainbow. The Scorpions, Saxon, which was an 80s metal band, um, a band called Riot, April Wine. This has got to be 1980. I was going to say, this has got to be pretty early. Castle Donington, $2. This is another one I can throw in the booth for five or six bucks, make my money back because some metalhead will go, oh, wow, that's cool. The other thing I'll do, and mind you, I buy these sleeves. Sorry, baby. It's taking too long. But when you take one of these records and all of a sudden you put it in this sleeve. To keep up the value to five bucks. Yes. These sleeve, believe it. I mean, look at all of a sudden how much better that looks in that. Now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden it's a, it's a $6 record. You're like, oh my God. I don't know. It's a mine. Even me, I see him in this and I'm like, oh, I'm, I'll spend two dollars more because it just kind of gives you the mindset that it's been taken care of. Yes, it does do that. Next one, Human League. This is a Human League album that uh, I don't know any songs off of it, uh, but it's Hysteria. It was in good shape. It's two bucks. Another album I'll throw in the booth for four or five bucks, and it's still it's still '80s, and people will buy it. Um, Dead or Alive. This is a 12-inch single. Um, so there's just one song on, oh no, there's a, there's a second song on side two, uh, but it's Brand New Lover. All I really need to do is find myself a brand new lover. You know that song. You didn't sing it with me. I, I don't remember. You don't remember Brand New, she knows Brand New Lover. Anyway, quintessential 80s, um, 1986, Brand New Lover, five, six dollars for the single. Expose, big, kind of a big girl band in the 80s, um, in the shrink with the hype sticker. This was $2. I don't know any song on here that I recognize. There, I think there might be one song on this album. But the fact is, it's in the shrink. It's got the hype sticker. It's five or six bucks. He's big and like Rose. Look at him. He's a huge shepherd. Yeah. Oh, I saw a he's bunch of dirt flying. Yeah, he's Snoopy bigger. for president. <clears throat> Three, four, maybe five bucks. It's just rare. Um, people will buy stuff like this because they'll remember it from their childhood. Three, four, five Hi, bucks. Baby. Snoopy for president. Snoopy. Hey, baby. Oh, he's pretty. He's huge like Shiloh. This is one of my favorite. I love this album. I love like folk singers from the 70s, Cat Stevens, Jim Croce, Gordon Lightfoot. Did I say Lightfoot? Yeah. Gordon Lightfoot. <clears throat> Al Stewart, Time Passages. This album, Start to Finish, is a great album. Time Passages on its own is great, but Start to Finish, fantastic album, four or five bucks. Oh, do I paid, we have that already? I, yeah, we do. I paid five bucks for this. I, I probably overpaid for it a little bit. Great um, album. But I think we can still get eight to ten bucks out of it. Um, Karma Chameleon. This isn't this isn't the album from Culture Club. This is their second album, but still, it's got Karma Chameleon. It's got It's a Miracle, um, and it's got Church of the Poison Mind. It's got Miss Me Blind. So there's four songs right there. Great shape, great condition. It's still going to be an eight to ten dollar album, maybe twelve. Um, Five dollars, Mister Mister. Nobody's ever heard the song "Broken Wings." It's probably an unknown thing. It's probably the only one. Kiri, Kiri. Oh, they that. Nobody's ever heard of that. Um, I think uh, yeah, that's probably the two big songs in this album. They were two hit wonders. But again, it's quintessential 80s. Um, this one's probably 80, 6, 87 maybe. 
Um, so Mr. Mister bought that eight bucks. I'm like he's destroying somebody over there. Last but not least, Genesis Abacab. Um, I kind of went back and forth on this. I think I can probably get maybe eight dollars out of it. Uh, this is an original because it's got, I don't know if you can tell, but this is perforated. Usually the perforated um, covers are early, early pressings. So I went ahead and paid five bucks for it. Um, this is actually, believe it or not, this is my favorite Genesis album because it's got Abacab on it. Second song is No Reply at All. Um, side two, Man on the Corner. Um, it's a great, it's a great, great album. So Genesis, and it's in good shape. Genesis, Abacab. That's my part of the haul. 31 minutes. This is going to be too good. Sorry. I'm it's long. not going to be too good. I get talking. I'm long-winded. I know. I'm, I apologize. Why don't y'all tell him? He has a perfectly good channel sitting over there that he does nothing with. And you could sit for two hours and do this on your channel. Like, I don't mind I'd... you doing it on my channel, but, you know, you have, a, like, a main lane. Here's why. And people like channels with main lanes. I have all the lanes. Here's why. Here's why. As I tell her, I like being the, I like being the guest. I don't like being the. I like being George. I don't like being Jerry. If that makes sense. It makes sense if you know Seinfeld. Let's, Seinfeld. Let's go to dinner. I'm hungry. We're, We're gonna, gonna go eat. Dinner. We are sharing a chicken sandwich, chips, spinach artichoke dip, cob salad, and we're at a place called the Beehive, and they're having trivia game night, so we're answering, we're answering questions up on the screen. The category right now is biology. We're not doing too good. It's good. Right. Thank you. Do you want to blanket off the other bed? Sure. Are you really on vacation if you're not in a lazy boy? I'm in a lazy boy. This is a lazy boy. <sighs> Listen, I've always wanted a lazy boy and I've never had one. Not a real lazy boy. I'm at that age. I'm old. I might have to get a set of lazy boys. I already got a plan. We're going to get two lazy boys. We're going to put them in the den. I don't know when this is going to happen. But this is everything. Shane's finding me a blanket. Looky there. A look. I'll take care of my girl. I was like, are you really on vacation if you're not in a lazy boy? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm not moving. <laughs> I took a shower. I brushed my teeth. Oh my God. I love y'all. The Lord loves you more. We need to go lazy boy shopping. <laughs> <laughs>